it's great to be back here again today how are you guys doing it's always fun to be with you guys and today i am going to be talking to you about capacity building and time management these two i can tell you you cannot separate them and i'm going to be sharing some of my experiences as a younger professionals growing um, in africa so if you're just joining us today for the very first time please don't forget to smash on the red subscribe button to join the community and the family and you will be glad you would be able to watch and see some of our content to help your capacity building and my name is coach wilfred asukua i am a capacity builder i am also an it certification trainer a certified john maxwell coach a public speaker as well as again i am the founder of zit worldwide a virtual coaching platform so um one of the things i love to do is to pull young people from minimum wage or from um minor jobs into the six figure space specifically in the tech space that's exactly what um interests me to do more and if you are interested trust me i am here for you just use any of the link below this video and reach out to us and we will get you up to speed now why am i going to be talking about capacity building and time management you see growing up in lagos in fact growing up in a quibon before moving to lagos most of the things my parents or i was used to was more of a religious activities and i can tell you that the time we spent on religious activities i can tell you that that's the measure of how responsible you are where i came from or how i was brought up besides i grew up attending seminary to become a priest so literally i was living with the reverend father during my holidays and any slightest time that i had for myself so the question is how possible was it for me to develop my capacity in several skill sets that was going to help me to strive in the future absolutely that wasn't going to be possible now i relocated to the to the bigger city lagos at the age of 15 and this was the same practice that i was also introduced to with the companies of friends and families that i was staying with as a matter of fact you if you do not belong to um, several or different um, service units in the religious centers then absolutely you are not seen as being responsible or you are not seen like an individual that fears god so take for example if you belong to like um the choir i mean the singers those that sing in the church or let's say you also belong to prayer band think about it you have to attend um, the sunday service which is compulsory and sometimes this sunday service if you are in any of the service unit you definitely have to be there as early as seven and you will not get out till like 6 p.m sometimes 7 p.m and then during the week you need to attend the midweek service and you also have some other service group that you belong to you know to show up for their meeting so you end up sometimes showing up in the religious centers pretty much the entire week so after several years of doing this i ask myself what time do you have to grow yourself? What time do you set aside to also develop the skills that would help you increase your earnings? This is where time management comes into place. Don't get me wrong. I am not asking you not to serve your God or believe in your religious, you know, system, but how are you able to scale how are you able to break even financially how are you able to increase your capacity 
how are you able to also invest time in yourself or in your personal business or hustle as you may call it to be able to scale so i discovered this long before i left nigeria so i invested a lot of my time pursuing scholarship research for scholarship you spend a lot of time on your computer to research schools write to schools reach out to professors it demands time and then you were i was also developing myself in getting jobs that would enable me to sustain so i had to be going to the cafe to learn basic computer skills because i definitely couldn't afford to go to any computer school so i had to use the cafe to learn some basic computer skills and using basic microsoft tools so i'm asking you today what are you doing with your time are you spending all your time in the religious centers are you spending all your time helping to grow other people's business just so you know a lot of the religious centers they are business centers and when you spend a lot of your time there you are literally helping to grow another person's business at your expense so how much are you being paid to grow the other person's business in the disguise of your serving god don't get me wrong there might be some legit ones out there but significantly where i am coming from i am speaking from an experience so i need you to look inward to yourself you need that effective time management especially the family um driven individuals take for example again let's say you're a married woman and you are in the choir and you are in other two service group and you have to attend Sunday service, you have to attend the midweek service, and you also have to attend to several meetings that drive this service unit. So if you are working in a certain location, so literally you come back from work, you are going straight to the religious center. Remember, you are a wife, you are a mother, and you are a career-driven individual. How do you manage all this time and yet also increase your capacity or work towards enabling yourself to also start your own business or hustle? I need you to think about all this. Time is of essence. H is not on your side. It's going forward. It's not counting backward. I'm sure I am able to point you to a right direction capacity building and time management there are six and seven until i come your way again this is your homeboy coach wilfred asuka don't forget to join the family by using the red subscribe button below this video catch you bye